e kale o e kale ni gbogbo origun mere ni agbaye te ba ti gbo mi lowo lowo bayi i am sad very very sad ibo mi o dura ra 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 le ni mu ti so ko dari lori nkan ti mo wa mu han yi ki de so ni ni akoko ti ma ko san e ko jo ti mo wa ni ilo se present yard ni mo ko san e ko mo to pada sun lo ni ngba ka de community service court ni mi ta se pa di paper ah eyi eyan Olorun ni oba to mo ngbogbo to le so ngbogbo. E ri pe ni ijeta abijowo ni mo soro lori awon pastor wa. Mo soro lori awon eh awon afa wa awon imam wa. E ri pe ki se pe nse ni mo condemn gbogbo imam. E de ri pe ki se gbo nse ni mo condemn gbogbo pastor. Awon pastor alalubarika wa. Awon pastor to je wi pe nti olorun fe ni won se won o de ni ko se lai lai awon afa to je pe nti olorun fe ni won se won o de ni ko se lai lai sugbon eni keni to n ba oruko esin mejeji e je fun ra ara olorun ni o se idajo won mi o ni se pe fun won sugbon mo mo pe olorun wa se idajo won nto sele ni ridim court o ba mi lokan je gidigiri ni o idojo jo to ba mi lokan je ni pe o wa je ko o wa je church baba wa ti gbogbo wa ma npon le ile yoba to ba wa yasin wa ni redeem ni lo to nkan ti mo fe so yi redeem lo ti sele sugba redeem n ba dan bi bayi ni e da ko se to ba ya ta ba wa npariwo baba adeboye lori n to sele ni church ibadan se ri pe o da be ri pori wa pe ni se lo to baba de boye lo ni church sugbon se baba de boye ni eh, pastor paris ti ti se nkan ti won se fun eni ko ribe mo den baba lalu barika ni baba yen mo wa fe ki gbugbu eyin eyan gbugbu eyin eyan olohun ati eyin member redeem church of uh, redeem church ke ba mi sa gbugbu agbara yin lati je ki baba mo nkan to sele tori pe baba o le joko si bi ti won joko si yen ki omo jo kan omo wa ko ko omo wa ko ere ba oruko ti baba ye ti bi ta ti build lati ba kekere opolopo atawo to je muslimi atawo to je christian opolopo yen na mo fun la baba ye toro na ke ni ko de wa believe pe lokan ara re pe ati ko n ba oruko ye je oruko to nto ni o baje o oruko baba de boyo ni baje o oruko mo ni baje lai lai mo ko fe kan da ko to ni olohun mo fe kan ona ba mi sympathize lori oro omo yi mo de fe ki won ba mi pe pastor yen to oda en ti mo joko ti ko ki se yoba ki se yoba sugbon bibeli ni eni keni ti iwo ba nipa lati se iran lowo fun o na le ni keji e emi o fe ri omo omo eda alaye kan to nji ya iya ti o to to ba ti nji ati o to ko njo elede mi ma loju emi o ma nda bi omo ya mi ni tori ti gbogbo yin ba gbo nkan ti mo gbo te ba ri nkan ti mo ri eyin na omo ibi ti pe to si e mo nti pe to si e mo nta do ato si lori nkan ti mo mu wa si e ti gbo yin e ma binu e wo kini en la o o gba omi loju mi an ti ba ma sun won eketa rere ti ma ma sun ko loro yi tori pe iyan je buruku buruku laye ti mi o gboru eri iyan je of the highest order ti mo riri laye mi o nlele so ta ba soro church ta nfe nu tembelu awon kan ta soro mosque ta nfe nu tembelu awon kan ibi te ti mo wi pe arika to ma so lele pe ki se gbogbo pastor lo lori ire ki de se gbogbo awon muslimi lo lori ire ki se gbogbo awon imam lo lori ire so e wo arakunrin ti e wo legbe mi mo fe ki o soro ti ba bile ile oro te ba gbo nkan to sele si mo fe ke yin na sa dua si bi ta dua to si ke se pe si bi te pe to si my brother yes sir good evening good evening sir you are you are welcome yes sir eh eni ti mo ba soro yi is from patakot 
ni so mo yoba so oni o je ka ko de o gbo yoba die su mo ko gbo dada oni o je ko ka lo ede mi lati ba ba wa soro my brother how are you i'm fine sir please could you tell my people your name my name is david boma west from the south south part of the country river states thank you uh where are your parents parents are in port Harcourt. then from where did you come to ibada i i left to learn to ibada how do you get to ilone from ilone to ibada i was in port Harcourt with my parents after my secondary school i desired to be sent overseas okay so i i had a discussion with my parents that they should help me travel overseas but then they were not in support of my dreams most especially my mom she was not really in support of my dreams of schooling overseas because maybe she wanted me to school where they'll be able to know how my life is and also know how to monitor me but i feel i could live my life without them so i traveled out of river state without the knowledge and then i went to lorry to meet my elder brother after your secondary school yes my elder brother was doing well so i was living with him to an extent i forgot my parents i no longer feel seeing my parents were were important i see that living my just my life at 17 then was the best for every teenager and every youth growing because i believe that i must not stay under the parents of my roof the the roof of my parents in order to make it life so i started living the life without my parents for those years i've been leaving my brother till my brother died my brother had a motor accident then my brother died the, the brother you are living with in Ilori. yes so sorry is is a story i i don't like sharing most times but i'll do it for this purpose because of this day I, after my brother died, I decided that staying in the Norway is no longer comfortable for me because I could no longer cope without things there. So I said, let me come back to Ibadan to establish my life back. So I'll be able to start That, was, that was when? That was on the 3rd of March. March of yes, this year? Uh, this year. So I came to Ibadan. So on coming to Ibadan, I met my brother's friend who I was actually staying with. But because he said I, him himself and I and my brother were having issues before my brother died. So he never wanted me to really stay with him because he feels that I supported my brother when two of them were having issues. So while coming from a Lauren to Ibadan, the vehicle I entered from Airport Road to Ericon, I they found that I entered the bus. So a lady came down from the vehicle and on the, field, the phone fell from her hand. From her hand. From her hand, yes. So what I was supposed to do was to tell her, ah, Madam, look at your phone. But I did not. Because I was in it. I know what I did was bad. Mm. I collected the phone. I started using the phone since on the 10th of March. I've changed it. Yeah, nobody could track the phone. I've just been using the phone since then. So reaching on the 7th of November, after arriving at Ibadan, after staying for some time in Ibadan, uh, I was invited for a redeem program. That they were having a Sunday service, I need to come. So I attended that service. So the pastor preached that service saying, He said, There yeah, is something that we have done that man cannot see, but God sees. And the Bible says that with the mouth, confession is made, and then he that covereth his sins will not prosper. Mm. So we need to open up. Now, whatever thing that we have collected forcefully, just like Zacchaeus uh, told God that we need to come out and confess and restitute. So I really felt the pastor was talking to me that day on that so summer, you directly. directly. So I was touched. There are some things he said that I said, this man is really talking about my life. Let me just go and then surrender whatever to him so that God will forgive me. So I went to him. I told him, pastor, I know I have done a lot of things, but because of what you have preached, your message has touched me. But there's a phone that I'm using. This phone is not my own. I stole this phone. And I've been using the phone since on the third of March, but because of what you have preached, your sermon has touched me. Please take back the phone and the SIM card. Or the SIM card I have not thrown it away since then. Take it back, call the owner, and then submit uh, the phone back to the owner so you can help me as a mediator 
to plead on behalf of me so that the owner can accept the phone. The pastor accepted the phone, led me to Christ. I was in the church, he delayed me till some minutes after 8 to 9. In the night? In the night, in the evening like this. Find what was happening. The police came in the church, and then that was how I was arrested. And I was taken to Ashi Division that night. You said they, 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 they handcuffed you? They handcuffed me. They handcuffed me right inside the church. And I was taken to Ashi Division. Ashi? Ashi yeah, Division, Ibadan. yes. So when I go to Ashi Division, the DPO was even far from me, but they had to call him, he had to come back because everybody was saying that in as much as I have confessed, it's no longer important. Or even if I kill somebody, even if I do anything for the fact that I have confessed, the pastor does not have any right to call the police to come and arrest me again. So when the DPO came and they, they said, ah, for the fact that I have confessed on my own to the pastor, the pastor does not have any right to bring me down to the police station to get me arrested. So the pastor denied that he never called police. So people ask who called police because the discussion was just in between I and the pastor. Who else will now call police if not the pastor? So that was how, after 24 hours, the matter was transferred to state CID. So oh, from, why, 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 why was the matter transferred? Because the DPO never wanted to call, because the matter was complicated, because the DPO never wanted to involve himself. It used to be because the evidence the pastor presented were not true. And then the reason why the pastor arrested me was invalid. Hmm. Because I went on my own. Or nobody traced me, nobody tracked me. Okay, that is why he wanted to just, he just remove his remove hand, from, his the hand in the, from the case. So when I got to state CID, they interviewed me. After the interview, they said I should wait. So the owner of the phone came. She said, who kept me in the cell? But then as much as I have confessed, she's not the one that arrested me. She is not tracked even that. She has even forgotten about the issue. The, so, the, the owner of the phone, the phone yes, when, so, when, when, when the man get to, to yes, her. the message got so, to her. So she, she, now, she now came. Yes. And met you in the, cell. Me in the cell. So she said she had forgotten about the issue that she doesn't even have anything about the issue. That since so, you are the one that went went on my own. So the Ashi division, the DPU now came there. So she now he now said well that pertaining this matter that he has brought the matter to CCID, his hands is off. That he will, that this matter has never come to that place because he doesn't want to put his hand into something that he cannot finish. So after a while, I was interviewed and then I was kept in the cell. You said the gay gave you something. Two thousand. The lady the, gave me two thousand. You know the phone. phone. Yes, for at least calling, at least going on my own to submit the phone. So that was. But by the time she came, you are already in the cell. I was already in the cell. So I was arrested. She don't have power to release, to, re you. to release me. So that was how I was taken to the court. Maybe from the court, the matter will be struck out of court. So when I got to the mind, I started crying. Even at the court, that I was saying it in front of my IPO. That this pastor is this, this pastor. I said it. People heard me while I was crying. Which? Oh, yeah. So while I was in court, I was crying. I was saying it. I was accusing. I was telling my IPO that she knows what happened. Though, that it is the pastor that called me. I was crying. People were asking me my name, but I was just crying. Because it was painful in my heart till now that a pastor that I went on my own to confess. We want to damage my own image or myself. That was how I was taken to the to the to the magistrate court. When I got there, I will, the magistrate looked at my statement, looked at the pastor, and then she said, In as much as I have confessed with my own mouth, they are not supposed to jail me or bring me to pray to court anymore. The magistrate. The magistrate, yes. Yeah. So I was praying in my mind, I said, God. If I have gone here on my own to confess by myself, then you have to prove this, that you are God. So after the prayers, after the man, the man said she will rise. She didn't give her statement, uh, her judgment. She had to rise. Okay, they, 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 you said they asked you whether you are guilty or not. They, yes, she asked me if I am guilty of everything. I said, yes, I am guilty because indeed I collected the phone without the knowledge. I would have told the woman, this is your phone. But at the same time, after nine months, of stealing that property after nine months since march to november nine months i felt remorse one day because of the message of the past one day if i don't if i decide not to return the phone nobody will still know i will still be using the phone till any time i like whatever i can i can do with the phone but because that day i feel that ah what this person said is true i need to change and that's why i did it on my own so the major truth from the court that they went to her chambers after some time she came back I said, well, this is a judgment that she gives me either one year imprisonment or three weeks uh, community 
service. People were whipping me in court that a pastor should do this to me. So that was how I was taken to. Mm -mm, mm -mm, you did not finish it. Uh, you you said the judge said she would have given you. Yes, she said uh, she would have given me seven years imprisonment because that is every crime for stealing. Okay. That is the normal punishment I deserve to get for stealing. But because I have gone on my own, nobody caught me, nobody traced me, nobody saw me doing it. I went on my own to confess. She cannot jail me seven years. That I went on my own is no longer stealing a passé. The prosecutor tried to convince her to jail me seven years. But she said that is her judgment because she cannot jail me seven years. Because even if I have done anything at all and I have gone to the pastor to confess, it is no longer anything I do. I never did anything before. So she cannot jail me because she cannot fight against God and still fight against me. So that was how she now said, is that be the case on this judgment that uh, she's going to give me that one year imprisonment? Because you steal the because phone. Because I steal the phone. And the terrorist committee services because I went on my own. I was responsible. And then she jailed me. And that was my first time of going to court. I have not gone to court all the rest of my life. Mm. I have not gone to prison for the rest of my That was my first time of experiencing such thing. And then I was taken to prison. When I got to prison, I told people everywhere, even when the warders saw my statement, that was what was written. So everybody was saying, ah, why will Pastor bring me here? Why will Pastor do this? I told them there because it was written boldly on my file that they brought down to the correctional uh, center, Agodi. It was brought there. So that was how I was imprisoned. Hmm. But I, I thank God because the pastor feel that maybe I will rot in jail. After even arresting me, he didn't even come to check whether I am alive or I am dead. And you don't even have... I, I, told him, I don't even have anybody. I even told him my brother is dead. He's away. That my brother is dead. He's away. If they call him now, he knows my brother is dead. I told him everything. But today, he kept me there all this while. I am just suffering for no reason that I went on my own to confess. Or is it now a crime? That people will preach of repentance and somebody will come out to repent. I went on my own to repent. And then I landed myself in prison to tarnish my own image, my own reputation. But I thank God for this, my father here. And also for the Yoruba nation for what they did and their support towards my release. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, my brother. Hey, I think you you had a little from him. Uh, one, you'll be surprised seeing the Yoruba nation cap in his head. When there is one man in the prison yard, Mr. Alade, Alade have said this several times, this man deserve reward and I know God will continue to reward him. Whenever he sees something that is wrong, or that, that he see that somebody was jailed wrongly, or somebody was jailed because he doesn't have anybody, he called me. He called so many other people to come and assist. He was the one that called me to come. I went there, I met this guy in the prison yard. I weep when he told me what actually happened. And people that were sitting down together, they also wept. They wept. So, now, uh, that day that they called me, I don't have anything on me. I don't even have 2,000 naira in my account. Ah, I felt bad. I felt bad that I can see somebody like this without me be able to do anything. I wasn't myself. But God so good. I came back home that day. Uh, president of uh, Yoruba, Yoruba World Congress. Yoruba. Yoruba World Congress. I thank God that day when I got home. 
the president of Yoruba World Congress in Yoruba Nation. He called me. He told me some things that he had from my last video. And he praised me, he thanks me. But you see the way I was standing. He said, what, what, what is the problem? And I told him that my mind was not settled. My mind is not settled at all. He said, why? I told him what happened to me. That I just came back from prison here this evening. He said, why? I told him exactly what happened to this man. And I told him what we need. Because one, we have to pay lawyer that after they've been giving him two options, whether to go one year or to do community service. Community service, he will need some people that will stand for him because he has to be coming from home to come and do anything they assign to him to do in the court by maybe sweeping or a washing toilet or anything. You understand me? So automatically they still need to they still need to do uh, some some things before the judge that okay we have taken community. So when they took community, the the judge said he need two shorty. The shorty that will guarantee him, that will guarantee him not to run away and this is the guy that doesn't have even a single person in the bada he don't have anybody not even a friend the person he stayed with they were not all that uh, so and the person has not even look after him Sugar. after he had what happened because you know so many people will be thinking otherwise that maybe he went to see because it is not everybody that will hear what transfer within him and the pastors. and the pastors. So him, uh, the, his friend, has uh, abandoned him because they are not from the same town. It's not his uh, family. He just abandoned him. Now, so we have to look for two people, two shorty, that we are sure judge that. He's not going to run away. That he's going to serve that three weeks community service. So we are on this since like five or six days ago. We started looking for people. The the first people they got this the first two shorty they got. Later they, they refused. They said they cannot do it again. They started charging different type of money. It is not that money that is very, very important. But I really appreciate them because for you to come and show somebody you did not know, somebody you did not know anybody with, I don't, I don't, I don't think it is easy. So for them to do it, I will, I will always be begging God to reward them on that. Mm -hmm. So two of them, they, they came. We gave them money separately, but doesn't, that money wasn't anything. Because even, even if we hold 10 million, we cannot take the money to the judge. That, okay, we are going to deposit money. No, there's nothing like deposit, deposit of money in his judgment. So the only thing, the only two things is either for him to go to one year jail, or for him to look for two shorty that will guarantee is coming back to be doing what he was asked to be doing. So we eventually got this to understand. So today they just sent to me. They first called me that I should be coming to prison yard. But later they said, okay, let me go and meet them at Yagaku in the court that they are going to perfect his paper they want to perfect his perfect that they are going to leave the prison yard now i should leave my home for us to meet there so i went so when i went they they have arrived there i met them there so that is when we started 
the the paper. So the two shorty, they sign. After they sign, then the there's one woman there. That there's one godly woman who started asking him question. Now that this shorty has stand for you. And it is not that you are, you are going to live in their house. Where will you be? He now said, ah, he has a friend that is uh, patching up with before. The woman now said, ah, your friend that refused to come to visit you. And he, he is not that he did not hear of what happened to you. So what is the assurance that when you go to his house, he will allow you to stay? And that is where I now said, no. Okay, if that is the case, let him follow me to my house. Let him be in my house till we finish, uh, till he finishes a uh, community work. I think it was 15 working days. 15 working days. 15 working days. So when I told them that, they all started praying for me. People were there. So people were crying. Mm. People started, people started uh, praising me. I say it's not a matter of place. This guy never looked like a criminal. I never see anywhere in his hand where you see that ah, this is his uh, his habitual character that he has been taken to station. He has been taken to this. There is nothing of such. And the way he talks show me that he's a responsible person. So let me take him home. Let him be with me. When I am less busy, I will be bringing him to where he's going to do his uh, community service. But tomorrow, Monday, and tomorrow, Tuesday, that he's going to start, I will take him with my car. Pass where he's supposed to, that where, where he can take, if I have no chance to take him there, where he can uh, enter a taxi from, and where they can go through. So that is where I'm going to follow tomorrow, so that he will know the road to that place. If I am not around to to pick to carry him there, or my motor is faulty, or any other thing, so whenever my my car is not available, or I'm not available. He will take his uh, time to go there. You can imagine this is what is left to him: this shirt and this trouser. That is what is left to him. Now. We came home. When he came home, what baffled me is the two requests he made from me. Is the one that is thing, the thing that baffled me most. Now say, Daddy, he thanks me, pray for me. Now say, he want to request for two things from me, and if I can do it, he will be happy. I said, What is it? He said, First, he wants me to follow him to that pastor. Let me go and confirm from that pastor whether he had done anything wrong or whether he has done anything apart from what he told me that he does in the church. So, and let me ask him why did he decide to jail him? I said, one. He said, two. He said, he know he has sinned against his spirit. He said, he feel that is the repercussion he's getting now. That is how he felt in his mind. That he will want me to follow him to Porta Court to meet his parents. And he wants me to help him beg his parents. And I've promised him to do the two. By the special grace of God, I will take him to the uh, church. But that will be after his community service. I will take him to the church. If the pastor is ready to talk to us, fine. If he's not ready to, take, to talk to us, fine. And I will later follow him to his dad in Portacourt. By the special grace of God, I am going to do that. But another question is this. Hmm. Most of the time, we used to blame some people 
some head of the churches like Baba Adibuye. The church that did this to him is redeemed church, redeemed pastor. And we, be, we will be blaming that on Baba Adibuye. Baba Adibuye. Was that Baba Adibuye's fault? Is Baba Adeboye the pastor of uh, a Paris in Nevada? One of his Paris in Nevada. Is, is it Baba Adeboye that has him to jail this guy? So I don't see any reason that we should shift the blame on Baba. We, we cannot, but I want to beg Baba to please try to comfort this boy. One. I want to beg Baba to please. I want you to caution that pastor. Invite the pastor and ask him the reason why he should do this to this guy. I don't know what he needed. I don't know what he needed. Ah, uh, there is something I want to say. Uh, there's one uh ham robber. In holding this, they call him uh, Sinarambo. I was, you know, he was the one that reminded me the, because I said it in the, in the in, in the afternoon when when I went to pick him. I mentioned that man name. That is why he did not forget. There's one arm robber called Sinarambo. He has he had wasted a lot of life. Of human being, and at the end, uh, one of our father called him, preached to him, and he decided to hang off his deed. He refused to rob again. He refused to kill people again. He's one of the one of the biggest pastor now. He now go to uh, prisons to talk to people, to make people see reason why they must not steal or rob. That is what he's doing all over the country now. He's an ambassador of peace now. What tells that pastor that this guy is not going to be an ambassador of peace? Why did he want to kill this guy? If this guy has been jailed for seven years, what is the assurance that is going to come out from that jail? Life. That's no. That's no assurance. I want Baba, Baba Deboyi to please ask that pastor, what has this man, what is this guy offense? Did he know him before? Or did he take his wife? Why? What is the reason? Why did you want him jailed? After that confession. After that confession. Why did you want him jailed? Now, the reason why he's wearing this cap is he, he requested for it. He saw it in my house. And when, when I said we want to do interview, he said, let me, he said, uh, this is the cap of those people that I said they helped me. I say yes. He said, let him put the cap to appreciate them. I wasn't the one that asked him to put the cap. He put on the cap. And the prayer he, has, he did today, even since we came home, the prayer, how he prayed for Yoruba nation, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot explain it. So, now, there are some little, little questions I want to ask him. Before I allow him, he said, I should allow him to, to thank the Yoruba nation. But before then, I will want to ask him some questions. When your daddy told you, this is what he wants for you, and you refused to listen to your daddy, did you regret what you did? Uh, that I, 
I think that was one of the lessons I have learned in my life. And it's a lesson I will tell to my world. Because parents are, are God here on it. And when we don't listen to them, we make mistakes. You know, I, I felt I could do without my parents. That was then. But now I believe that nobody can do without his parents. God has never made any mistake by making anybody come through a father or a mother. Because the importance we have or we need in our lives. Whatever thing they see while sitting, even while we climb a Niroko tree, we can never see it. Hmm. Because the world, they have been existing before we came. So we have to listen to them. I want to use this medium to say that I, I am so sorry for, for disobeying my parents. That was the genesis of this mystery. That was how I started this my wrong life. Every life I have lived outside my parents has yielded to nothing. Hmm. I have I failed. Yielded nothing. I have failed. I can't even have anything to even say this is what I have achieved. Everything has just gone for nothing. So I regret of every action I took, every step I took then as a teenager. As mad, it is my advice for every child, every teenager that is growing up, even as a youth, that you don't see yourself because you feel you are matured and you are doing what you think you are capable of, that you can leave your parents. They are still behind you no matter what. In any decision you take, you need to let them know. Whatever thing they ask you to do, you need to take it. Because it is, it is for your own good. No parents will wish his own child evil. Mm. So whatever advice they are giving us is important for us to take it. Mm. And I've come to realization of that. I am so sorry and I apologize on behalf of myself and my generation that I am sorry. Uh, after that, he, he has begged his father, although now I'm still going to put a court with him to go and beg his parents since he has so he has so remorse. Now, uh, before we go to that prison of urbanization, I still have some questions for you. You told me about something you learned. Because one, I want people to really help me to help this guy. I don't want him to remain the same again. I want God to use this mystery of ease to become something in life. To become somebody in life. I don't know what he, he can grow to become. I am doing this because I don't know where they are going to help my children also. But I want him to be great. I want all the redeemed members to please assist me to help this guy. Because this pastor has decided to ruin his life. But because God is, uh, God is able that is why we are saying what we are saying today. Who tells you even he can spend that one year in, in the prison? Who tells you he can come out of prison after one year? But he had learned his lesson. Which job did you, you told me about something, some two things that you know how to do. Say it. Well, I... I'm a baba. My God grace, I am I am also a movie director for that Juma Life Productions. Now, I want to I want people to listen to that. It's a baba. For us to uh, we can get a very beautiful babin salute for him to start his life again. And that does not stop him from being an actor or a film producer whenever that of 
production comes, they can as well have somebody to barb in his barbing salon, to barb for him in his barbing salon. So those are the two things he know how to do best. He's a great barber. Two, he's a movie director. He had learned that when he was in the Loring with his brother from someone else who is an actor. Then he can act as well. Those are the two things he can do. And I believe you never disappoint me. If you did not know me and you are doing what you are doing for me, I believe you can do better for him. I believe you will do better for him. You don't know me. I never set my eyes on any one of you. Sending me money is something I have never dreamed of. It's something I've never dreamed of. I am telling you, I have somebody who has sent me 300,000 for the gear of my car when I have problem with my gear. I have somebody when when they did they, when they did not go get the gear with we change to the tune of four years. I have somebody who is also in America that that called me that I should carry that motor to his mechanic. Then the, the, the mechanic his mechanic took more more than one hundred fifty thousand for him. They did it for five days. They called them all the wire and every other thing. He called the wire that work for three days before they correct other things. So now, after that, this man had given me money severally. Even when he spent 150000 on that, my dear, he still gave me money. He still gave me 100000 that time. And they have been giving me money before then. There are those that send 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000. Somebody has so sent me 500,000 in the past. Woman from America too. Although they don't want me to mention their name, but God knows them. And I know God will, will reward them, reward their children for me about what they are doing for me. So, if people are comforting me, why won't I comfort people? You, you I did not send some. I did not sell something for you before you gave me money, and you are comforting me. You are comforting. You are. You are. You are. You are comforting my position. Then, if I cannot comfort comfort any other person, that means I am a mad person. That means I don't have sense. That means I don't know what I'm doing. That means I believe what you are giving me will be for life. This guy could become a multi-billionaire tomorrow. He will not forget my children. He will never forget my children. So, and whatever you are doing today, even if I don't have money to pay you back in what you are doing for me, God is there to reward you. God is here to reward you. Now, this guy will be in my house, will be with me. I want people, I want people to help me, help him. Don't send money to my account for him. By the grace of God, I make sure I open an account for him. So that we can tell, we can, we can tell you his, uh, his uh, account number. For now, he doesn't have a phone. I will look for how we can buy a phone, a very good phone for him. So that if he has phone, you can also call him. I will, I will, this, is, this will not be the last time I will bring him to my program. So we will give you his phone number. You can call him, you can encourage him, you can do things for him. But I want you to help me help him. Please, if this is what you can do for me this year, this year, this December, if that to help him 
It's what you can do for me. Please do. Please go do. I know if you are doing that, and God know I, I am the one that asks you to do that, God will reward me in other, in other places. Please help me. Now, he said, you know, I told you he was the one that picked a Yoruba Nation cap that I want to put it on to appreciate Yoruba Nation. And I've told you, the president of Yoruba World Congress was the person that gave me the money I use. Even though the what I what, what we what I told him we want to use before, we have used above that's two of it. But we really thank God. We really thank God that we achieve it. Because we cannot take fifty thousand dollar to that judge. That is not what he requested for. What he requested for is that two shorty. I want to thank the two shorty. I want to pray that God will definitely reward them. Amen. I want to thank that man in the prison yard, Mr. Alade. Alade. <laughs> Me, I never see Alade typo. The worst part of it is that when Alade take, took me to his ogre, the, the, the head of that prison yard, uh, that day, uh, I want to be crying because this man get up from his chair. If you see how he embraced me, shouting my name, the ogre, pata, pata. now he has given me a chance to come to him. I should come and record him anytime that he could tell us what happened in their own world. He could tell us what is happening in their own world. He has given me that assurance that even in his office I should come, bring my camera to come and record him. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank my... Okay, let me allow him to say whatever I want to say to thank everybody. Thank you very much, sir. I, I want to thank the, the president Yoruba World Nation. Yoruba World Congress. Yoruba World Congress. I want to thank you. Thank you so much. I also want to thank the Yoruba Nation. I ask that may God reward you for all your efforts. Amen. Amen. I also want to use this privilege to thank you because I I know such an organization exists. But I don't know that it's not just for tribes. It's for everybody. I feel before that you have to do it for just your tribe. But you have taught me a lesson that helping is not just for your tribe. It's not just for who you know. It's for everybody. Because we all have blood flowing in our veins. So the help we have to help for is for everybody, not just for tribe. Thank you very much, Yoruba World Congress. And thank you very much, Yoruba Nation. I also want to thank a man, if I feel to thank him, Mr. Lade, wherever you are, I pray that God will bless you. The man in the prison yard? You yes. Ah, uh, sir. I also want to use this privilege to thank you well, let's for your efforts, you seeing God. us through as youths. You have played your own part as father to see that the youths don't perish when they are innocent. God will bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much, sir. Amen. I really appreciate it. So I want to use this privilege to say my language. Yoruba Nation, in the on behalf of the rivers and the Calabari people, we say in the to you. Thank you very, very much. We pray that Amono will reward you back. Finally, what I want to say is this. You can see what, what God is using Yoruba Nation to do. We are not in power. We are not in power at all. But you are comforting me to comfort people. If we are comforting, pe comforting people while we are doing it on our own, when we become government of our nation, what do you think we cannot do? Mm. What help do you think we cannot do? And that is why I'm praying to God to please give us the independence of this Yoruba nation. 
let us let Yoruba people enjoy what the minerals resources you created for us in our land. Whatever God created for us now is being siphon to places. But we want to beg God. The only way that those things can be useful for us and us alone is for us to have your knowledge. I want to beg God to please give us whatever it takes to have this urbanism. I want to say it now that urbanism no going back. Urbanism no going back. I did not end this thing here. I want to use my time. I will take him to the court where he's going to do his uh, community service. I will record whatever he's doing there. I want that pastor to see what he has put in this guy. I want that pastor to see what he has put in this guy to be doing. I want Baba Adeboye, who is our father. I want him to see what one of his uh, pastor had did. I will be briefing you whenever is going to start doing anything in the court. I will go there live. I will have like two or three of his doing in the premises and put it in this uh, in this uh, uh, video. So, please, 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 I want you to help me to help him. Help me to help him. By the special grace of God, as early as possible, I will I will do I will get little money. I don't have money now, but I will get little money to go and open a bank account for him. You don't need to send whatever you want to give to him to me. When you send to him, you have sent to me. So you will send direct to his account. Please, 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 I want you to help me. And the, the the member of uh, Redeemed Church, I want you to please, whatever you can do for me on this man, for him to overcome what he has gone through, I want you to see, tell Baba, because I know Baba may not be able to see this thing, but telling, telling him alone could make him to listen to it. I want Baba to please, as God comforted him, let him comfort this boy. May God help us. Thank you. I want all the dim people to please show to this guy that there are better, better, better people in regime. Regardless of what this man do, I want you to prove that yes, there are people, there are there are people of God. Ah, and you yami. I talk to day day with you. I see I go a do to me. We do only to you. No, don't talk to a fair boy. Talk to a fair boy. We do go along. Ah, and if you ban on just see I do you. We do only to you. We keep a boy in go a do to me. That's it. Very I do. Since I feel party, I do you long. You want back? Keep it to cook. I do you party. Along the year, cafe, the cafe, I want to know you. Bubu wa ta je oloru oloru fe Yoruba nation a ni fi e nkan kan se awa ti ninu wa pelu ogun Olorun because as ko ti a ba mo agbadun Yoruba nation yi Olorun mo je kene kan ko wa lori idubule aisan o a e se gan ni se ri eh bo ti le je wi pe ero kan mi tele tele lori oro video ti mo nse lowo ipelu abro mi yi ni wi pe eh mo ma lo lati lo ya ibi to tin se community service here pe tin ba ti ya o ma pelu nkan ti mo ma release later mo ma pa mo ma lo sodo eh eh pastor a jo lo sodo pastor ti a ba lo opportunity ati ri nkan kan ya ko no so reason to reason to say so mo ti focus pe a fi ma 
a jo lo si potakos lo do awon parents e a tun ya yen na a ma fi mo iru oko mi ni ye sugbon ni ana abi loni sorry leni ngba ti mo gbe de eh ti mo gbe de court ni court yen ni premises court yen ni o tin se community service here so igba ti mo de court mo gbogbo won 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 ko gbogbo won opolopo awon eyan la ba nbe ki so nikan won po gan so won koko gbe bucket won lo fa omi ninu kan ga ni wo pe kini won fi omi se but mo joko si bi kan mo ya won mo ya won lo kan lo kan mi fe koju won reflect dada tori opolopo awon eyan lo po nbe ti won se community service yen including him so mo wa bless ni ya gba ti mo ya Oh, uh, there was a time to jump on loan far to make a guy. On loan far to make a guy. So, then, but if I see no one bucket here, what will I see? One one will I see? Some offices cock up. You man, cut down the same way. Then, what on part of what? So, one day, so from you, one bar, then, but see you, one loan me that one bar le. So, one to pick here, one you don't see to buy one, you buy one. So, land here. So, he said, one I believe pay. One machine that they set you one fresh gun 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 here. So more what do you mean? Motive motive motive. Yeah, one. If any oga one ni oga ento li di premises ento li. If it is a lawyer, you buy one. Luma be ni yaga. Kini eh, I want court to come be gun. Court to one be to me dia the me job. There are different court, but magistrate ni ni one. So eh, but he. Mosa and Yakinello be any cancer so called to Abamine. One yak. Two little more ya, I want you on be by. More I explain for one. Would let you pay no one do gone, but look bo, it be set him would be, no door on ye, but one yak ye may we pay. I lay yabo, I won't call you put on the tea. Chief George pay, oh, my dad is all internet in it. But Chief Chief George Barry could if you do that, I will put it to say lady, so that you do a lot of it. So therefore, I want to allow me king ya to go and want to set any initiative on here. So he didn't yet have to decide to pay. He may ya I want to share him. Suba. I want to thank the Yoruba Nation. I say thank you very much for your support and every other good thing you have been doing to people in order to to achieve this same aim. I want you to pray for us that we are going to get. That your by the by the grace I, of God. I want to also use this medium to thank you, Daddy. No problem. For being standing out. Let us carry out these tasks. Let's thank God. I pray that God will grant the Yoruba nation Amen. Amen. Their, 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 own, their own country of their own. Amen. Amen. Then they Amen. will stand. If they have not had their own country and they can do this, it means that when their own country on their own, they can do more than this. Thank so you. I pray that God will grant you your own country. And it will come to pass. Thank you. I I want to really say a big thank you to everybody who has contributed to the efforts of this day. I thank God because most of the times when I sleep, I don't even believe I am out of prison. Mm. <laughs> I still think I, I am dreaming. I think I am just maybe I, I need to wake up from my from my dreams. But I find out that the European Nation Congress, on behalf of Adadi, had made it possible for me. I want to thank you so much. I say thank you. Yeah. Eh, yeah, me. Be as a man here. But I mean, I do pay the war Yoruba nation. We do pay the war Doctor Sunday Bo. We do pay the war Yaoni Tiri. We do pay the war Babawa Professor. Eh, eh, Joe, to the old long. We to fair a piece of our leg, can see. Eh, Joe. The most the key is what we are in war. We can't lobby us if we call law. I think the key is when I think we are from Taf. Along my feet, we are from Taiyo. The dark country alone, we burn to base the law in war. We say we come from law in our war. Can't be our direct. Can't be our sorrow. We call up on country. We call judge the story internet. We judge. The most the key is what we see in war. The most the key is what we call tundra. Mo benye, belu o go lono, belu o go lono, belu iri ati anu, ti 
awon yoruba ni so nse lowo lowo bayi igbagbo mi ni wipe eleda gbugbu awon ta nse laanu yi na yo duro ti wa eleda gbugbu awon ta nse laanu to de ti won de ri ri wipe ah ti olohun ba je ki ah ari yoruba ni so yen gba awon na ti ma pe a se juba e lo so bi ewe se bo lara gi ti ki ni gi lara be ni olohun fu wa ni nation wa gba yen yoruba nation olohun le du ma re ko ni je ka so diburuku onto i I want to say thank you, and I also want to say that from now henceforth, you now have a son in the South South who also is in support of this Yoruba nation. I will try all my best to convince every member of my family, every tribe I can convince to make sure that Yoruba nation has come to reality. Thank you very much. And get me Muslim also. Yoruba nation now 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 to come back here. See the process here. It just can follow it. Ti anybody ba ti pe Yoruba nation no going back ni ah e si wa ti agbodo fun Yoruba nation no going back